Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is my YouTube channel called Breaking Burke. It is about house plants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We do uh, live at about a mile high and in zone 7. It is a desert climate so we have to rely on watering. We can't just plant something and walk away because it will uh, dry up and crisp. Today I'm here in front of my pomegranate bush. You can see there aren't many buds left on it anymore. Just a couple that hopefully will turn into fruit. This hasn't fruited for me. It is from seed and this is about its, I don't know, I'd say about fifth year. Uh, so we should be getting fruit. It would be nice if it happened. But the reason we're here at the pomegranate today is I wanted to show you something that's going on with it. Now I'm pretty sure you've spotted it already. You can see this yellowing here. Now most of the time yellowing leaves, especially if it's early in the season, uh, could be one of two things. It's either getting too much water or too little water. Usually it's associated with water. Now I know this isn't getting too much water because I don't water it too much. Uh, everything that's closest to the house is what gets watered more often that's a little more water hungry and I have it intentionally like that so I can use my gray water system. Now, in New Mexico, you're not supposed to use gray water for food, so I don't have it over here. But, one thing I have noticed lately uh, is the trunk on this guy. Like I say, you want to go through process of, of elimination. If you're not watering enough, step it up a little, see if it changes. If it doesn't, uh, maybe you're watering too much and back off a bit. But, I know that's not the issue with this. Uh, if we come further down here you can see hopefully the bottom of that trunk is raw all the bark is peeled away so obviously we have some type of pest issue uh, a little bit of bark peeling or tearing and stretching of the bark is normal uh, it happens every year because the plants caliber up so you will see like on this one see those superficial little tears in the bark that will happen and those will darken up anyway but like down here that is not supposed to happen so I think we have a pest now if you are eating uh, from your pomegranate or whatever plant that you have that is infested or has suspicion of a bug problem make sure you are using something that is natural and won't affect the fruit. Uh, a lot of times systemics are the best way to work. Those are usually either a spray or a granule. You sprinkle or spray the tree and walk away from it. The only thing with that, just like it sounds, it's systemic. It gets sucked up through the roots, through the bark, out the leaves and the fruit. So you will not be able to eat your fruit. You want to make sure if you are going to be spraying your uh, food producing crops that it is something that is uh, organic and safe and most of them if you read the instructions will tell you how soon before picking is safe to spray uh, most people back off about two mo uh, two weeks to a month before uh, harvest just to make sure there's no residue or anything on their fruit but I just have some all natural stuff here Nothing fancy, I'm not showing labels because I'm just not. So, you can see I am saturating it pretty well. Making sure it runs down. And go a little further, higher than you see the damage. Because they're in there, uh, it just hasn't shown yet. So make sure you saturate it. And this will probably have to be an ongoing thing for me. I'm probably gonna have to do this like every couple weeks. Because remember, pests multiply and they do it a heck of a lot quicker than we do. Uh, usually it's a week to two weeks for a reproduction cycle of a bug. Sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. But this is a neem based spray and it won't hurt the plant. Doing it in two week intervals will be fine and hopefully I'll be able to eradicate these bugs and not uh, lose my tree or my fruit. Now uh, there is only going to be a few fruit if any so I do want to keep everything I have on the tree. Uh, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight and 
listen to your plants if they're turning yellow or have spots or something that's their way of trying to talk to you and tell you that they're not happy and something needs to change thank you for watching and have a great day